epic trip. Grab a beer, this one's a cracker. I had been chasing a stag on this property for four years. I deliver the farmer seafood and he lets me hunt. This one starts chasing muddies at home to give to the farmer. Can you two stop fighting? Knocking me antlers down. Idiots. Moon. On the hunt. Some muddies. Why is one there? He's flared up already. Found this plastic drum in the river, and there is one fish just sitting in there. Can you hold that on that? Let's see if he jumps out, or I can get him. How? Got him. And that's how you catch a Ludric in the river. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. His size too. That was crazy. When you're short of mud crab. Come back here, mate. Well, it's about me done. 10.30 at night. I am absolutely starving. I'm gonna cut myself. A few slabs of deer. It's a rooster deer I shot a while ago. Big chunky bit, I'm starving. You've never had deer? Treat yourself. It's like the most lean meat. It's amazing. No, not you. <laughs> do you like deer too, do you? Lazy after fishing dinner. Oi, Ginger, 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 do you like crabs? What you had to get your nose? Pretty tasty. Oh, you're frothing for some crab. I smacked a few confident boosters at 20 and got in the car and headed inland. I definitely wasn't ready for what was about to happen that arbor. and he was halfway so I did I hit him a bit high but I, I heard it I heard it zip through him so I reckon it's taken both his lungs. I'm just gonna give him like a good half an hour right now. I'm gonna go look for this arrow. Oh I'll be so stoked if I've got him. I'm like I'm trembling. Trouble. Oh, he in big trouble. <sighs> Hope I can find him. I'm fully, I'm just gonna sit. I'm actually gonna sit here and just stop because. I don't want to bump, I don't want to push him. Oh, that's some good blood. 
I'm super high. Oh, super, super high, but. Oh, hopefully I still just, funny thing is I was just listening to a podcast on the way out and this dude was like, when they shoot buffalo, he would rather hit, if they're not shooting heart shot, they'd rather hit high lung and that's high lung. That, that, that was high lung. Oh. A dead set. I just walked up the hill. Got to this little break and I've seen one other stag here before. Actually, it was right here. Laying at this log like two years ago. And I crawled all the way into him and he stood up and I was just in no man's land. Oh. Man, this sport, so I've done nothing this time, but I've been here, I suppose I've been here for four years in this zone. And I know this one little spot and the land I hunt is like thick. Like, look at this. This is like thick. I just hope, I hope he's there. All right, that's enough of me talking. This is what I'm usually hunting in. Oh, I'm confident. I'm like, it was a high shot, but I, I heard his lungs go tool, tool, like, he's definitely done for, but I kind of, when he come in this bush, I heard him go left then right. But yeah, it's confusing because this blood trail, this blood trail, where is it again? Oh. Yeah, here we go, down those rocks. It's come this way. It's come through here. Oh. No wonder I never shoot deer. It's so thick here. And then he's come down here. See, there's blood all there on that log. Blood on that. And then, I don't know if he's going left through that stuff or through here. Oh, I just got a whiff of him. That means he's upwind of me. It's been like 45 minutes now. Oh yeah, there's heaps of blood there. He's got to be here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yes! Velvet stag. Best eating. Oh. Beautiful fallow stag. Yes. Oh, I seriously haven't hung yet. I came over that hill. He was there. I've been shooting my bow all day at home. Cruised out here, cooked mud crabs for the owner. Got it all ready. Wow. Oh, oh. oh he's just started. Yeah, so I shot him back a bit. Not the best of shots. But yeah, he's, well, there's the tree I shot him at. So I shot him just under that there. So he's actually only run pretty much 25 meters. He's probably done 50 meters of zigzagging. First fallow stag. This thing here is like three and a half, four years in the making. This is the first property I ever came out to since I got back into bow hunting. And I've had some good opportunities. I've, I've hit a couple in the shoulder, I had an older bow, and I've finally got one down. I've, I've shot him here, quartering away shot, I've taken out the top of both his lungs. It's a bit far back, but he, he didn't go far, but look at this. <laughs> oh, it's 
beautiful. All I wanted to do this year was my one goal was to get like a nice little stag and I'm frothing. I've been working hard, a lot's gone into this and look, he's just beautiful. He's nearly got that like um, chittle pattern. But um, yeah, he's molding a little bit, but I'm definitely gonna try and tan his skin. It's beautiful. Phew! Stoked! Yes! Uh, uh. Alright, so I've just put his head into a rock and then it's kind of just facing downhill. I don't have much light and YouTube's going to get rid of all this anyway. But yeah, that's how I'm going to attack it. Open the guts, get all that out. I'm going to try and get his skin and do the legs as I go. So, because I want it all, it's going to take me a while. What a good day. Yeah. All right, so just rolled the big dog over. There's front leg, back leg. Whew. Sun's just dipping. Made it. Tenderloins, back straps, front and back leg. And go home, take that skin. Keeping that, because that's the first one I've got. Time to load up and get back to camp. Oh, it just fits. Just sacrifice the water. Not carrying that. Probably should have drank some first. Oh, these are gonna have to get made a hell of a lot bigger. Well, glad I bought a new pack. All right, that's one side. Oh, come on. All right, that's that. Oh. All right, head torch. Holy. Sh that is a loaded pack. Maybe too heavy. I might have to come back. I can't get up. Oh my god. Whew. All right. Okay, get this one in. All right, get my bow. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus. All right. Oh my god, this is that heavy. I'm gonna start slogging it out. This is living. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to do this. Proper carry out. Whew. I'm already hurting. I'm cooked. I don't even know if I can lift this over the fence. I'm about 300 meters, I've got to cross a creek. I can leave my pack out on a road and cut back across and go get my car. Oh, I'm flogged. I had to push it under the fence. My bag is splitting. Even that, that's so much lighter. Got rid of the head, the skin, and the dog bones. Oh, that's so much better. I might even just put my bow on my head so much further and try and just carry that skin and stuff in my arms. <coughs> Made it to a creek. The road's just through this. <sighs> Go hunting, they say. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Oh, I'm glad that creek is over. Let's leave this here and walk back and get the car. Get me some water. Oh, yeah. And check this out. Woo. I'll flick my light off. Moonrise. How mental is that? It's not even full yet. It's another three days till full moon, but yeah, I've just got back. Pack this car up a bit and go drive up this road and pick my gear up where I left it. Woo! Epic. Hey, little fella, you looking after my bag of goodies? <laughs> 9.30 p.m. Still a lot of work to be done.
This is well deserved. I even bought the expensive beer, but not Forex. Got a hot oil tray of mud crabs and a fish for the owner. I'm gonna keep this hide. So at the moment, I've pulled it out. I was rushing a bit up there. So when it's hanging up, like when I've done my other ones, you just want it to be like this. So you gotta get all this crap off. So instead of going to sleep like I should be, I'm trying to do a bit of work now. I made one little cut there. It was stupid too. I'd finished, I was just trying to rush to get everything into the pack. And I cut my knife because that was the last bit attached and I just went like that and <laughs> it's the only bit I cut, but I'll be able to stitch that together. But yeah, I'm just going to um, sit in here with my knife now and a beer and just quickly do this for like an hour. All I'm going to do is cover this in some salt. So just spread it evenly, try and get all the edges. I'm just going to leave this one overnight. There's still a lot of meat on here. But yeah, this will help set the, the hairs. It's 10.50. I've just soldered the hide. Chucked the meat in the fridge. Quickly cooked some sausages. Just hook this gas bottle up. This could be the man meal of all man meals. It's light. Sausages. And whatever lands in the pan that's green is gonna get devoured. I've never cut carrots like this. Why don't I just get a chopping board? That's dinner. Oh, it's 440. I don't know if you can even see that, but you can just see of the bush there. The moon's just setting, so there's still a fair bit of light out there. Today's plan is to um, try and get a rooster stag. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get up. I packed most of my bag last night, so I'm ready to go. So just get a few last things organised, have some brekkie quickly, and um, go hit it. <laughs> With it still being summer here and it being super warm, super early, I decided to get into the woods and see if they're just feeding on the grass in underneath the trees. Just pumped. I oh, know there must have been like 10 or 15 deer then. There's even a couple of stragglers, but they've got a heap of little ones, so I'm cutting down below them to try and loop around. But that wind's just hit me in the back, so I'm done for. He, he's 
tiny. Walking back through the creek, getting scared by quails every two seconds. They just bust out of the grass and scare the shit out of you. Um, anyway, just walking back through this creek because a few times I've come across a big rooster stag just like middle of the morning just cruising. One other time I found him bedded. Um, yeah, so just cruising through here and head back and start processing some of that meat. Wind's coming straight at me, so it's actually played nice for once this property. Wind was this way this morning, so I went up over that hill. Now it's going the other way, so I can hunt all the way back. Sometimes you just get scunted and you have to just walk on the road. I know I was going to shoot home today, but I might just um, stay for the starve and do one more hunt. I've driven all this way, so may as well. This is where he roughly saw that stag. This must be where he's cruising. Coming out of the forest. I'm just coming out of this rise and hunt this last little bit and hope for bacon and eggs. Something big just winded me then. I don't know if it was a big roo, it sounded like it was running. I'm just gonna go wide around here and see if I can link up and see what it was. It didn't see me, I was standing dead still when it ran. So it just got my wind. I need to go back, I'm at the point I'm tripping over. Recky and rest. I stayed up all last night cleaning that skull. I was just got all frothing and removed the bottom jaw. I'm just gonna do like a I think they call them Euro Mount. Finally, relax. Might just, um, yeah, sort this skin out over here. Try and get a little bit more meat off it. Try and get some more meat off this um, Euro mount that I'm having breakfast with. And um, yeah, I might push honey out till like late Arvo. Might just go attack this, um, the meat. Just debone it all. Start um, sorting that out. Completely certain up. How's this? Just looking over that one tree. There's a white, I think it's a white stag. I can't get enough vino on him, but he's fully just sitting there. Wind's coming this way. Certain up. Pretty good. Um, Freaking deer. <laughs> oh, what a deer chart. Kind of like a corner of the property, so there's also another little one over there. But I'm just laid up. I mean, just glass in the hill. I think it's like quarter to six. So stuff should start happening. The kangaroos are starting to move down the fence line, so hopefully something pops its head out soon. Like a dog. Still sitting here for being such a good boy and not walking around 
blowing all the spots up. I get a chocolate. Well, I don't know how much longer I can sit here, but it's cooled off. Wind's still howling this way. A few kangaroos came out early and just nothing. They're all dear. All these little dots. All right, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Hauling ass. Bet you I run into a pig. Like that bull. Time. No one's gonna be running out of the hill. Sussing how many there are. Well, unfortunately, they turned and fed straight towards me. I was over on that hill there. and dropped into this gully in that wind coming this way. I had my stand off them for the whole time in. They turned and just picked up pace and were just trying to get into that gully. They hadn't seen me and yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I was standing behind the frickin' tree because I thought I could see it standing up in the bush, but it was just a log. Well, wind's howling this way, so I need to go that way. This stag has been down near the creek, so I'm just going to have to go down there, jump on the other side of the creek so my wind's coming this way, and hopefully I can just walk along and see his big antlers sticking up. The dude where I hunt here usually doesn't let me shoot them. And then this time he's gone on a meat diet. He's a bit of an old lad. And he's like, if you see it in velvet, <laughs> whack it. And of course, now I haven't seen it. I haven't put in effort down there, but because it's pretty boring. I think I used to see it when I first started and I was sitting still all the time and I was pretty much just hunting that creek. Anyway, go down there and have one last crack, a little hunt in the morning, and then peel back. Apparently, there's a hell of swell. My mates just text me to go up near Noosa, so I'll go get reception this way too and give him a buzz and see what's happening. Just across the creek, wind's coming at us. Rosa's dad was sitting here. I heard him just rip off. I haven't heard a sound like that for a while. His big antlers going through the bush. Uh. All right, no good the Savo, but who cares? Cause I'm eating fresh. Backstrap for dinner. How good. Proper, proper man meal. One last ingredient. Hell yeah, proper man meal. Didn't catch a deer, so old school yabby. See if I can't pluck a yabby out of this creek. Alrighty. We on here. It was like two minutes. Let's try and pull him out. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, it still is that because when you're a kid, this dude is done for. Got it. Hey! After dinner mint. Ah, I've just checked and it's in berry. Super rad, but. Off you go, mate. Well, I don't even think you need meat. There's one. Little one. Another one. Big dog here. Look at them all. <laughs> it is lo- Oh, there's my meat I put the other day. I was looking for this. No way, look at them all. I chuck like the backbone of the um, deer. Oh, look at this fella. I'm gonna grab a heap, try and make a bit of lunch tomorrow. Why not? And land surf and turf coming up. <laughs> now I've actually decided I'm gonna fill my esky with water and put them in the dam at our house. And maybe I had a bit too much fun, but the pond at home is gonna start thriving with yabbies and bass. I got up and gave it one last crack. I wanted to get that rooster stag. Oh, sometimes this is really fun. I just end up trying to get home. Don't care about noise anymore. Here we go. This is the game tray. Oh, makes life easier. Oh, boots off. Cup of tea on. Well, what an epic trip. No rooster stag, but I'm back at camp. Bacon and eggs are on. It's a cracker of a day. Just got to um, get home, release these yabbies into the dam, and I'll probably quickly um, break that leg down just so it'll fit in my car fridge. And that's about me done. But um, yeah, if you're enjoying these vids, I don't know, write some comments on here. Um, hit subscribe, it all helps. I'm just out here doing these trips by myself, so it's kind of fun making little vids and showing my friends and family. All right, see you in the next one. Ew. It's just a day of saving. Got the lawnmower out the front. Boy, where's your leg? Boy, where's your deer leg? The hunter's home. Packing it up. On the dog food duties at the moment. That's the last of the back strap. All that's done, now I'm just slicing up this so boy doesn't choke. These are all the off cuts. And just got to um, process that skin. Make a little rug. That's a lucky dog. That's a lucky dog. <laughs> Good work. You know what to do.